We've got another David in Arizona, pronouncer he am, who it's he, David has a question for me on abortion. So we'll see if we can knock this out pretty quick. Welcome, David. Thank you, Matt, and hello to, to Dave as well. Um, I love all the work that you guys do. I have grown a lot since listening to you guys. But anyways, let me get to the point. So just for the record, um, I am totally um, pro-life, but then I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, pro-choice. But then I came with an inquiry myself, and now I'm having, I don't know, like an inquiry. And so I figure maybe you could help a little bit. So okay. my two arguments for being um, pro-choice is no one should force a woman to remain pregnant against their own will. And second, okay. um, no fetus should have special rights. You know, I, I'm with that 100%, undoubtedly. Okay. However, then I came with this. Well, uh, you, you can't say you're with it 100% undoubtedly and then say the word however. But go ahead. True you got me there <laughs> so if the <laughs> fetus there. if the fetus or or the baby for for all that matters got to be in the womb um without their own will for say should should there be some kind of consequences for that or, or reprehensions because like the the baby or the fetus for all it matters it did not ask to be there so that's where i get um kind of i'm, I'm kind of in in a stop there like it just made me rethink that whole being pro choice or or I, or pro-life but i i want to be in pro choice yeah so the thing is if you accept that nobody has the right to force a pregnant person to remain pregnant everything else is moot it doesn't matter whether uh, uh, no fetus has ever asked to be implanted in a womb. That's not a possibility. There isn't even brain function to yeah, get consent a... or to, to seek that. And while you may think it's unfortunate that there is a, a human life that is potentially thoughtful and might want to continue living, that's irrelevant as to whether or not it has any legal right or should have any legal right to continue living. And as long as the position is bodily autonomy and no one can force someone to remain pregnant against their will, um, then you can think whatever you want about the fetus. But when you're saying, should there be consequences? Consequences for whom? Who should, who should pay consequences for terminating a fetus, terminating a pregnancy such that a fetus dies? So, and because the, oh, go ahead, Dave. No, uh, well, you go ahead and answer it, Matt. I, I want to know who respond. who yeah. do you think, because you're like, should there be consequences? And I'm like, consequences for whom? For the for the woman, or for for all that matters, for the two people procreating the fetus or baby, because the the baby or the neither the fetus or the baby asked um, to go in. Um, but but the you know to, Matt's to, point was that. The fetus is not a sentient being. It has no awareness of it itself being there. Well, actually, that's not my point, because I don't care if it's in there writing poetry and curing cancer. It doesn't have True. the right to use somebody else's body without their consent. But, but I think David was making the point that, well, the fetus didn't ask to be put there either, so what, what rights does he have? She has. Well, the pregnant person didn't ask for the fetus to implant necessarily either, So, which means point, it's a I, parasite. Exactly. The point I want to make is the fetus is not aware of itself being there. It's not It's not a sentient being with awareness. And someone said to me the other day that, well, my grandmother almost aborted my uncle, and I just wonder about what life would have been like without him. Well, your uncle would never have known that he didn't exist. That's the thing. It's the thing I talk about about death. When people say, what are you going to, you know, are you afraid to die? I'm not going to, I'm not going to be aware that I died. I'm going to go to sleep and not wake up, and I'm not going to be aware that I didn't wake up. There's nothing to be afraid of there. So a, a fetus uh, born that has conceived within a mother's womb is not aware that they're there and they're, can't, oh man, I can't wait to get out of here. Wait, what, they're going to abort me? No, 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 this is not right. That's not happening. And the, pro, the, the anti-choice, I started to say pro-life, but I hate that term because I'm pro-life. I love life, all life. But the anti-choice right, people right, want, yeah. want, want you to say, want you to think that that baby's in there looking forward to being born and then you snuff this life out. That's not what's happening. That's not medical science. Yeah. It, unfortunately, well, you know how theists are. They're going to be claiming 
um, as soon as conception, it's a, it's a life. That's what, and so sometimes w when I get into arguments with uh, theists that they come up with that. And so I'm just trying to gather oh. more information and have stronger yeah. arguments to. What, what, know. what should, you know, that's the thing is who should pay a penalty and what for? Um, because if somebody doesn't want to be pregnant, then it's just a mus as much a violation of their will. Actually, it's more of a violation of their will um, for them to be pregnant than it is for the fetus to say, I don't want to not, you know, be born. Um, but the fetus can't say that, as Dave was pointing out. Um, and it is in that situation, when it is an undesired pregnancy, um, it is a parasitic relationship, period. There is a, an entity that is using your body for its own to sustain itself without your consent. Now, I get it. People don't like that um, that that language, but tough. It, it, just because you want to, not you, sorry, David, I'm not directing you, but just because somebody wants to look at it as right, a, it's a cute little baby, it's not a parasite. No, it is parasitic by definition parasitic and in some cases people want that parasite and they want it to grow up and become a person that they're then going to take care of and that's fine that's how we all got or most of us got to be here uh some of us were you know prevented by by law from being aborted but the the notion that is that every every time somebody's like oh well shouldn't there be some penalty for what for exercising your rights to not have your body taken over by something you don't want it to be taken over by. We, we grew up in, in a time where pregnancy is trivialized, even though it is absolutely non-trivial. Pregnancy changes a pregnant person's body forever. Carrying a child to term right. changes a pregnant person's body forever. And neither me nor the government nor any group of people should have the right to impose those consequences onto somebody else. And as soon as, by the way, as it, now the only people who are consistent are the people who are like, it's always murder all the time and it should be treated exactly like murder. Um, everybody else's position that it's not murder, but it's kind of bad or that um, there should be uh, consequences or it should be discouraged. All of those people are making irrational exceptions. Every single one of them is making an irrational exception because they're saying, hey, I really think that, you know, this would be up to the pregnant person to choose whether or not they're going to remain pregnant. But, and then they, you know, it's just like, it's just like at the beginning of, of your call when you're like, I'm 100% in favor of A and B. However, you know, I, it's, it's nice to find it. Nobody, none of us, not even those of us like myself who are happy to call it a parasite for when it's unwanted and happy to point out that it shouldn't have a right. I'm not sitting around going, man, I just can't wait till we abort more fetuses. Oh, nobody's doing that. And so right. it's a caricature on, on the part of, of the right. And so they want to make exceptions, some of them, in the cases of rape and incest. Well, how does a, a, a rape or incest change whether or not you're killing a fetus? Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It, it, would rape or incest be excuses for murder? I don't yeah, think so. That sounds horrible. And and so there are and so if they want to make exceptions for rape or incest, they are now in a, in a in an intellectually inconsistent position. And if they're unwilling to make any exceptions, then basically what they're saying is, if for any reason you find yourself pregnant, you're just fucked. You, you, you know, a, a sixteen year. This is my favorite meme from the last month or so. A sixteen year old cannot adopt a baby. A 16 year old cannot adopt a baby. And it's because we as a society recognize that they're not equipped to care for a baby such that we would voluntarily give them parental custody over it. But if they get pregnant, we're going to force them and not just 16, 15, 14, 13. Oh, it was your uncle. It was your dad. It was your, you know, neighbor. Uh, oh, oh, we're sorry, but you're just fucked forever mm -hmm. because we don't value your rights. And instead, we want to give special rights to the fetus. Uh, no other human has the rights that people are trying to give to the fetus. And that's that's all I've got. I mean, I understand it's frustrating, but 
Well, I appreciate you trying yeah, to equip no. yourself better, David. It's a tough argument. The theists who yeah. argue that you're killing a baby, they do not know their science and they don't know their Bible because the Bible sh points out that life begins when you draw breath. Oh, yeah. That's God's view of it. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I always... Um, oh, sorry. Um, on many occasions, I tell people about, like, did, are you aware that there's slavery in the Bible, that sort of thing? And they're like, no, where does it say that? They're completely clueless. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, um, I know there's you guys got stuff to do. Thank yep. you very much for, for, Matt, calling, David. for taking my, my call. I, I will apply it to my knowledge. You guys take care. I, I love all the and appreciate all the work you guys do. Thanks, David. Have a good evening.